Hey guys, welcome back to Money Mondays with Melissa. So I do work with a lot of first time home buyers and while I'm hoping almost all of you or everybody knows you do not need 20% in order to buy a home. I know that some of you still have a fear of moving forward with buying a home because you don't have 20% because somebody told you how you're going to spend more money buying the house if you don't have 20% because there is something called PMI, which is private mortgage insurance or MIP, which is a mortgage insurance premium. And you know what guys, they're right. You are going to spend a little bit more every month because there will be an insurance premium if you do not do 20% down. However, I would not let that stop me from buying a home. I'm going to talk to you guys about this. So here's the deal. If it's going to take you another two years or five years or eight years to save up the money for this 20% down payment, you don't know where the market is going to be at that time. And looking back at things, don't you wish you had bought the house two years ago or five years ago or eight years ago? The reality is that we don't know where the market is going, but I do know this. We have to pay to live somewhere. So you're either going to be paying your mortgage and building into your equity, or you're going to be paying your landlord's mortgage. It's your choice. And I'm going to give you guys me as an example. When I purchased my current home, I didn't do 20% down. Instead, I did 10% down, which means, yes, I paid an additional $250 a month for my insurance premium. Okay. And then I spent over a hundred thousand dollars renovating the home. So this home has cost me a lot of freaking money, but here's the deal within six months of owning the home, as I kept watching the market and not just because I'm in real estate, just because you own a home, when you own a home, you're looking at what's going on in your neighborhood. Let's keep this very real here. Um, I saw that the market was continuing to go up and my house I did feel was worth more because I spent a lot of money renovating it. So then I reached out to my lender. I, I do have a conventional loan. I reached out to my lender and I told them, you know, I wanted to have the house reappraised in order to get the equity, the, uh, the mortgage insurance off. So they had me send them before and after pictures and they asked me and I had to send them a check for an appraisal, which I did both. And then an appraiser came, looked at the home, etc., and voila, I do officially have at least 80% equity in my home and the mortgage insurance was taken off of my monthly payment. So now within seven months, well at that time, within seven months of me buying the home, I was able to reduce my payment by $250 a month. And do you I wish I had another year to save up for that additional 10% so that I had the 20% plus my renovation costs? If you were to ask me if I could go back in time, absolutely not. I think I bought at the right time. <laughs> Um, and that's just the reality of it. So stop staying on the fence. If maybe now really is the right time to make that move because we don't know what's going to happen in five or eight years, right? So if you're, if you're looking to learn more about buying or selling real estate, give me a call. Until next time, guys, I will see you on Money Money with Melissa.